imagine a brand new toy line on the shelf that brought back that feeling you had as a kid. Alternation action figures, humans, hybrids, heroes. Remember, Ultra Maximus viewers get 10% off with code ULTRAMAX. Now available at Pandemony Toys. Link in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. Oh, hey, look, it's Robo Scooby Doo. That is Dino Mutt, not Robo Scooby Doo. He's, you know what? I'm going to give you this one. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at a figure from the brand new movie Scoob. It's Shaggy and Dino Mutt. Now, I found this set over at one of my local Walmarts here in Greenwood, Indiana, and uh, it was funny because I had skipped him when I got Captain Caveman because I couldn't find a Blue Falcon figure. Then I found Blue Falcon, and then I couldn't find any more Dino Mutts. And I actually found, I think, the last one in Greenwood at my local Walmart. So, Wal Walmart? Walmart. So, I was very excited for that. So, I got Dino Mutt and Blue Falcon. And I guess this also gives me Scooby and Shaggy. So, let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Shaggy and Dino Mutt in the packaging, and I gotta say they look pretty cool. Shaggy looks a lot cleaner than he normally does. He doesn't have his chin scruff, which is interesting. Uh, Dino Mutt looks pretty cool. I like the fact that uh, the peg hanger is a little bone. Uh, collar, the collect them all is the Scooby-Doo collar. Uh, very cool looking. Nothing really on the sides of the package. Um, got some artwork from the movie there, so yeah, here we go. Look at all kinds of cool. Definitely digging that, the movie logo. And then back of the package, it's got a little write-up, shows a, a picture of the group from the movie, and then all the figures in the wave. Now, I've already looked at Captain Caveman in Scooby-Doo. If you want to check out that video, I'll add a card uh, to this uh, video here. Go check it out, it's pretty fun. So just kind of a close-up. Again, got the movie logo. Uh, if you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And then there's the gang, looking all kinds of cool. And then here are the other figures in the wave. Very nice, very fun. And that's uh, about it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Shaggy and Dino Mutt out of the box and see what we think. So here we have Dino Mutt and Shaggy out of the packaging. And uh, this is interesting. Dino Mutt is not at all what I was expecting with the tail. I do not recall seeing the tail in the trailer, I guess. He's got a very airplane, uh, you know, looking tail, uh, which, you know, I guess makes sense, kinda. Um, he's very interesting. He's not as goofy as we saw in the original Hanna-Barbera cartoons. In fact, the roles are kind of reversed. It's the Blue Falcon that's a bit of a goof, and I think Dino Mutt, from the trailers at least, looks to be a little bit more serious. And I'm not really sure how I like that. I guess I gotta watch the movie. Have you seen it? Leave a comment down below. The one thing I wish Dino Mutt did have, though, were his go go gadget uh, legs and uh, head. That would have been neat. Uh, you could have easily just given us uh, some plastic parts where you could pop the head off, click it on there, and then click the head on. I think that would have been pretty fun. In fact, I think I would have liked that better than having him come with Shaggy. And then you got Shaggy here. Again, it's okay. It looks like Shaggy. We've had a few before. This one's just really limited in articulation compared to other figures we've had in the past. 
Sculpt and paint on both of them, very cool. I will give it that. Again, this series just suffers from lack of articulation. So just kind of show that off. Uh, Dino Mutt here, his head does move back and forth like that. Nothing at the neck, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. His front legs do move up that far. They move back about that far. There's nothing at the knees or the feet. Um, the rear legs move that far forward. They move all the way back like that. And again, nothing at the knees or the feet. Uh, the tail, however, does spin. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. At least uh, that tail spins, whereas on Muttley's, it did not. And uh, yeah, there's Dino Mutt right there. Shaggy, uh, not as impressive. Uh, his head does move back and forth. His arm moves up and down, so does this one. Uh, the elbows have nothing. There's nothing at the waist. Leg kicks up that far. Barely kicks back at all. Uh, he does have a single joint at the knee that does have a twist. Again, I think, much like the Blue Falcon, uh, we should have had that same type of uh, joint that we get with the knee at the elbow. But alas, we did not. So taking a closer look at Dino Mutt here, the sculpt's pretty good. I like it. He's very cybernetic looking. He's got a very, uh, I, I, I don't know, is it a German Shepherd or is he supposed to be a Doberman Pinscher? Kind of like a mix between the two. He's very pointed, more so than he was in the old show. Uh, he does have his little capelet on the back, I guess. Uh, which is kind of cool. I definitely did that. All the kind of metallic armor pieces on his neck. Very, very nice. Definitely digging that. Uh, his ears, very upright and pointed, almost bat-like with the paneling inside. Um, and then he's got that jet tail, uh, which, uh, again, that's kind of new and kind of interesting. I just don't know how I feel about that. And then taking a look at the lower half of Dynamut here, again, lots of robotic kind of paneling and sculpt work, lots of little details. He's got that kind of chess logo in his uh, uh, bolts there. He's got the Dynamut logo. I love the little black uh, painted doggy nails on the feet. Very cool. Um, he just looks like he's got lots of gears and gizmos going on, uh, which is nice. And then you got that Again, jet tail kind of going back there. Very interesting, very robotic looking, and well, he should be because he's Dino Mutt. So taking a closer look at Shaggy, this is a very interesting interpretation of him. He seems very clean for Shaggy. Shaggy always seemed like a dirty hippie to me. He's got no goatee. Um, he's just got kind of floppy reddish hair. He's got his classic green shirt with a gray undershirt on it. Um, looks okay. It looks like the movie, I guess. Um, he's got a little bit of a slouch going on. Lots of cool sculpt in the hair, though. I will give it that. It does look like a cartoon, um, the, the cartoon from the movie that uh, we had gotten. But uh, yeah, he looks younger and he just looks a lot cleaner. That's what I really, really notice about this interpretation and that's what we get on the screen. It's a lot cleaner. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, um, again, it's very stylized, uh, very cartoony looking because it's based off a cartoon. Um, the, the green shirt, the uh, gray undershirt. Now, he's got one hand that kind of rests on his hip and the other that goes down. I don't know if they're trying to go for an underwear model look or uh, he kind of just... He looks like a chick with his hand on his hip. I don't know what the deal is with that, uh, but uh, not a very fun posing thing, I think. They would have done better just to have left him with straight arms, but uh, what am I say? I, I don't design the toys. I just buy them and bitch about them, don't I? And finally, take a look at the legs of the figure, uh, just kind of brown pants. Uh, I do like how they droop over his uh, little black loafers. Now, this is kind of an interesting take because his green shirt just kind of hangs over his pants. I remember him wearing a black belt, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking wrong. Uh, the, the legs look decent. It probably looks the most shaggy of the figure um, with the kind of bell bottom ishy baggy pants and the black loafers. And he stands pretty well. The knee joints, again, I like those. I wish he had those on his elbows to match. For comparison, here we have Shaggy and Dynamut with 
the Blue Falcon, and yes, finally, I've got the Blue Falcon and Dynamut in my collection. Um, Shaggy is about as tall as Blue Falcon, he's just like a hair shorter, and then Dynamut comes about halfway up, which is fine. Uh, very cool to kind of see these guys together, and in fact, I really didn't even want the Shaggy figure. It was all about getting Blue Falcon and Dynamut, and there they are, the two figures I really wanted out of this set, alongside Captain Caveman. Definitely looks great together, going up on the shelf uh, next to my Captain Caveman. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring him in. So we'll just move the Falcon over a little. Let's put Dino Mutt there and kaboom! There we have Captain Caveman. Great set. I love these three figures. Totally worth 20 bucks to get uh, uh, all these guys. Actually, be 30 bucks, uh, 10 each, and then you get an extra figure. So two figures for 10 bucks. Not a bad deal, especially if you're looking for these three particular figures that we just haven't gotten before. So our Dynomont and Shaggy figures that you want in your toy collection. I'm going to say yes for a couple reasons. One, if you are a Scooby-Doo fan, you're going to want to get Shaggy, of course. If you're a general Hanna-Barbera fan and you like Dynomont and uh, the Blue Falcon, you definitely want to get this because I cannot recall the last time that we had a Dino Mutt figure. If you know, leave a comment down below. I just really can't think of one. Uh, I've always liked Blue Falcon and Dino Mutt ever since I was a kid, uh, watching it growing up in the uh, you know late 70s, early 80s, and it's finally nice to get an action figure, even though it's not exactly what you know I'm used to as a kid. It's still fun to have and put up on the shelf. Now, much like all the other figures in this line, articulation is very limited, uh, but at the price point, you really can't complain too much. These are definitely durable toys. I think kids are gonna like them, have a lot of fun playing with them, and they got that collectability that us adult collectors remember the nostalgia as a kid and wanting these toys and uh, you know putting them, partnering them with other figures so you can get the whole set, I think was a smart idea, so yeah. There they are, Shaggy and Dynamut from the new movie, Scoob. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.